Good morning, friends. Welcome to Shekham Pre Market Roundup. Firstly, on the global markets, yesterday the US indices were down around uh, 1 to 2 percent, the Dow falling on maximum by 2.13 percent, whereas the Nasdaq falling by around 1.9 percent. On the European markets, European markets were down by 1 to 2 percent again, the DAX falling on maximum by 1.8 percent. Coming back to our markets, we had our uh, NSTFN expiry yesterday. There was some selling seen by FIS, uh, FIS selling close to 1655 crore rupees uh, stocks in cash markets, whereas the domestic institutional investor buyers were buyer by around 14 20 crore rupees. So the, the expiry dragged Nifty indices and other indices down by around uh, 1 to 1.5%, 1 Nifty falling the maximum by around 0.9%, whereas uh, some of the mid cap indices were still in the green. But overall, there was a lot of selling pressure happening in our in our markets yesterday. In certain stocks, the stocks were down by around 2 to 3 percent also, whereas in uh, some key pockets, the, the stocks were up by around 1 to 2 percent or more than that. Uh, some exceptional stocks uh, where some positive action was seen on the IFB, Infra, IP, Real, and uh, certain other stocks. Now, uh, let's have an update on derivatives. Good morning, friends. Let's have a view on derivatives. The Indian equity markets represented the choppiness of FNO expiry session on Thursday. As we have seen that after a cautious start, markets extended their southward journey and closed the session with a significant loss of close to, uh, like close to one person, at around 7750 odd levels. In this period, we have seen that cost of carry decreased by 9 percent from 5.45 to 4.94, and Nifty futures started the series with 1.41 crores. As compared to last month, it is very less. Last month started the series uh, with 1.47 crore shares in open interest. PCR also started with 0.78, which is quite good compared to last month. Last month started with 0.68. India Week sales, yesterday it was down by 0.50% from 13.89 to 13.82. But in, whole, in the July series, we have seen that India Week remained in the range of 13 to 16%. But uh, going forward, we, we can expect India Wix to remain at lower levels only. Uh, if we talk about rollover activity, uh, Nifty, rollover acti Nifty rollover stands at 67%, which is uh, less compared to last month. Last month it was 71%, and market wide rollover stands at 83.01%, which is marginally less. Last month it was 83.99%. If we talk about Nifty rollover, it is quite good compared to like average of last 3 months and 6 months. Last 3 months and 6 months average was approximately 63% and in this August series we have seen that it is 67%. If we talk about sector wise rollover activity like uh, auto, banking and capital goods uh, has seen a ro lower rollover activity in this series and uh, uh, textile, telecom, technology they were like uh, quite good in rollover activity. Uh, if we talk about options activity, uh, options 7,900, 8,000 stands at highest number of shares in open interest in percentage terms. But if we talk about number of shares, 8,000 stands with highest number of shares in open interest followed by 7,900 then 7,800. And in put option we have seen that uh, 7,500 stands with highest number of shares in open interest followed by 7,600 then 7,700. Uh, there is no security in man period today. And yesterday, FIS were net buyers of 80 crore in index futures. They were net buyers of 1093 crore in index options. They were net sellers of 122 crore in stock futures. And they were net buyers of 232 crores in stock options. Our monthly stable breakmate point is 7577 and on lower side, and higher range would be 8022. Singapore Nifty is down by 50 points, which is at 7691. So we may see a marginal flattish to negative start in Nifty futures today. That's it from Valuators. Thank you. Now let's have a look at some of the trading ideas for the day. The first idea being persistent systems. RBI has announced that FI will not be able to buy shares of persistent systems as the FI holding in the stock has caused a limit of 24%. This is uh, seen as a negative for the stock. Action to be taken here is short uh, with a stop at 12.76 for a target of 13 DLF has reported its numbers yesterday. The profits were down by around 29% uh, to around 127.8 crore rupees for the quarter ended June due to lower sales in the quarter. Net profits stood at around 181.2 crore rupees in the same quarter of last year. Action to be taken on a short uh, DLF with a stop at 194 for a target of 184 and 180. Stocks with uh, positive buy buyers are BPCL, Sipla, Macrior, Russell and Bhakti, whereas stocks with negative buyers are Elijah Rosen, Tata Power and Ojas Cement. 
On the results uh, front, important results today are Bajaj Corp, Bajaj Paints, Cummins India, Jays Blue Steel, Karun Vaishya Bank and Union Bank of India. Two-wheeler sales number for July has come out. Bajaj Auto, two and three-wheeler numbers, uh, 14th. That is uh, July 2014, 3 lakh 13 thousand units, whereas it was in July 2013, it was like around 2 lakh 81 thousand 327. Month on month, the growth of 2.5%, whereas year on year, it's a growth of 11.3%. Hero Motor Corp, uh, year on year growth of 9.5%, whereas in TVS Motors, 2 million numbers, year on year grew by around 29.3%. 3 wheeler due by around 27 percent, whereas overall sales uh, in auto on a month, month on month basis was around 2.5 percent, whereas it on a yearly basis it was up by 29.2 percent. For Tata Motors, uh, it was down by around 24 percent. Mahindra and Mahindra it was uh, almost flattish up by around 2.5 percent. Ashok Leland it was down by 14 percent. US Secretary has uh, given a statement on US immigration bill. John Kerry said the U.S. government would like to tweak some of the aspects of the U.S. immigration bill. If this happens, it will be a major dampener for Indian IT companies. Indian IT companies draw revenue of, uh, of a high revenue from the U.S. markets and it is uh, expected that if the bill is passed in its current form, could have raised about one quarter of the USD 45 billion revenue from Indian IT companies. China's manufacturing uh, in, expanded in July at around fastest pace in more than two years. Signaling a pickup in activity. The economic growth is looking good over there. The purchasing manager index was at around 51.7 percent, as against 51.4 percent median estimate in a survey. Positive for Hindal. The core sector number came out yesterday. Uh, core sector number constituted 38 percent of the Indian uh, industrial, that is IIT. It has uh, shown a strong jump as it grew by around 7.3 percent versus 1.2 percent in similar period of previous year. With uh, strong numbers for June, the core, part of, uh, core sector growth for quarter 1 FI 15 has inched up to 4.6% versus 3.7% in quarter 1 FI 14. ONGC and Oil India have submitted a joint bid uh, worth $1.5 billion to buy a stake in Murphy Oil Corporation, Malaysian Oil and Gas Assets. Murphy has invited bids for 30% stake in its Malaysian assets. If successful, ONGC will own a 30% stake in the assets, while Oil India would own the demand. Playing uh, 10%. On other news flow front, Reliance Power has initiated early stage discussion with Temasek to raise up to dollar uh, 500 million and tie up funding for the 3 JP group hydroelectric power cell that it has recently acquired. Vedas Auto will launch two new versions of the Discover 150 on August 11. The company has been losing market share in the executive motorcycle segment. Petrol price has been cut down on 1.09 per litre, whereas the diesel has been hiked again by around 50 pesos. That's all uh, from our side. Thanks and bye on my streaming session.